was his final moment in the council as special coordinator for the peace process, warning the interplay between failed peace negotiations, the situation in Gaza and the role of the United Nations could produce a dangerous outcome. If indeed we believe that they do continue to seek an outcome of two neighboring states living in peace and security, but are unable themselves at this juncture to agree on a meaningful framework to resume negotiations, the international community should seriously consider presenting such a framework for negotiations. His briefing comes after the Palestinian Liberation Organization took a decision earlier this month to suspend all security cooperation with Israel, while the latter continued to withhold Palestinian tax revenues amounting to over $400 million, deepening the Palestinian Authority's financial crisis. Siri also warned that continued settlement activity may kill the very possibility of reaching a two-state solution. He also called the Security Council to account. The Palestinian ambassador had an ominous response regarding the possibility of a one-state solution. If we are moving in the direction of uh, one-state reality, then we would be uh, living and noticing a massive dose of apartheid experience which failed in South Africa and I am con confident that it will not succeed in uh, our region. Critically, council diplomats have shown a growing appetite for a resolution setting binding parameters for a peace deal. Sherman Briceby's SABC News, New York.